हेलो एवरीवन यस अदिति यू कैन गेट अ शाउट आउट हेलो एवरीवन नमस्ते गुड इवनिंग गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून आई एम योर होस्ट निधि प्रकाश एंड टुडे वी आर हियर फॉर अ लोटस मंडाला सेशन आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस ड्रॉ विद मी सेशन टुडे एंड आई सी सो आई वांट टू गिव अ a heartful welcome to jude hachison she is joining me first time today and everybody who is joining me since past lot of sessions i welcome you all and yes jia uh, a shout out to jia and aditi they want me to give a shout out to them and i want to really give a shout out to everybody who shared your work in all past weeks especially yesterday uh, when we drew this beautiful tile with lots of abstract art and it was fun drawing yesterday right and you guys did awesome beautiful color combinations and if uh, whoever not submitted wants to submit there is the post on the facebook you can submit there and if you haven't drawn it or still if you want to see the other submissions you can check out at the facebook page the post of this work and you can see all participants artwork and that goes for all the other live sessions because after every live session i make uh, the i always make the post at the facebook page so you can always put your post there can you guys everybody hear me clearly please write down in the chat is my voice clear do you want it to increase or lower down or is it perfect i'm looking at the chat Bonjour Silo Cost and thanks for supporting me. Awesome. So today we are going to draw this lotus mandala where we are going to draw total 9 lotuses, 8 small lotus and one big lotus in the center. And for that, let's talk about the material. So Tanisha, I am not going to use any color pencils because we are going to draw this all Uh, in the classical style just with the graphite pencils but yes you can use color pencils whatever brand you have and whatever you choose and you can see lot of participants use lot of beautiful color pencils and marker pens and you can see their artwork on my facebook page which they share with beautiful color combinations so we need a ruler a pencil for the guideline and a pencil and the tortion for the shading at the last a black marker pen to draw all the mandala eraser to erase the guidelines and this is the very important tool in the mandala drawing that's the compass most you know most of the time we use the protractor or the helix circle to draw the mandala to divide the pages into different section but generally in these section in these classes i designed the mandala in a way that we can skip that things because i want to decrease the use of the tool in the session but whenever we are doing the bigger mandalas or the bigger session then we have to use the protector and these are the different hashtags which you can use while sharing your artwork at any social media and you can use your own hashtags too last week we drew this mandala and this was the traditional mandala and last to last week was the special day when we drew this uh, beautiful colorful peacock mandala that was the color pencils i used prisma color color pencils in that so let's start video is blur just give me a second i just focused it well so please find out the center of your paper as we always do it is a 6 inch square paper so i'm marking at the 3 inch and 3 inch 
at all four sides and joining them to divide it into four equal sections that's what we generally do i try to keep the consistency so that it becomes easier for everybody to draw along and to know the process easily but if you have if you are my oak subscriber in the youtube or at my patreon then you can unlock a lot of intricate or big size mandalas where we have to use all those different tools too because those mandalas are on the bigger paper and a little different style little intricate than these okay so now here we go we have the eight equal sections in our paper vintage style paper alicia this is the normal paper i don't know which paper you are saying and i'm just using this artist style strathmore they are the white color tile is my video is blurry for everyone or is this just for the yelena or the aditi oh yelena is saying it isn't blurry thank you yelena okay clear clear awesome so whoever wants to be the czt please check the website zentangle.com that's their original website their headquarters is in the whitney massachusetts and then they uh, run a lot of uh, you know seminars you have to attend their seminars they are kind of the three-day seminar and uh, i'm sure they haven't done it yet uh, in india so far but uh, in europe in america in australia and a lot of other countries they are running it and i think they have the other they did one this year maybe you can check out their website and they have the whole schedule of all the events whoever is interested in the czt okay now let's talk about the mandala measurement and i switched it on on the screen we are going to draw seven concentric circles at each centimeter one to seven so please mark from the zero from the center and <laughs> i should wear my glasses now and every centimeter please make a point like so it is at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven centimeters now. I got all the points. Isn't it easy today? At every centimeter. Please draw the circles very light because they are our guidelines. We need to erase them when we are done. So grab your compass and start drawing the very light circle on each marking So these are seven concentric circles. This is our guideline today. Anvita, you can try, why not? Sure. They have no age limit as far as I know. You can talk to them. So please check the zentangle.com website for that, okay? okay so please write down in the chat or show me the thumbs up when you guys are done drawing these seven concentric circle oh the brown paper so alicia brown paper is the mixed media paper and 
uh, now I get it so these are the brown papers you are talking about so the video of this is already available for the oak patri oak members and for the patreon and i already made the video of this one and it will be available very soon and i would like to show you like the mixed media paper which we use so these are the mixed media paper although this one is the toned blue but that come the color is the toned tan so those are the mixed media paper strathamore brand they come in that color, in the brown color. Awesome. Beautiful, Drew. Now here is, here is a thing and we are going to grab our pencil and we are going to draw a lot of thing with the pencil first before we start using pen over it. So please grab your pencil. And I'm start drawing here. Please look carefully. We are going to start from the center circle now. You see our where the center circle is these two sides. So we are going to join these two sides to the other top. So please look carefully what do I mean by that? Like this and like this. So join this center point, maybe a little below that and this curvy line. Don't worry, we are using our pencil. We can erase it if we uh, want to fix anything. So join the center circle from the corner to the next level up, both side. And then if you count one, two, three, four, five. So this is our fifth circle i'm just writing here very lightly five you need not to write i'm just writing to show you down here because i can erase it later so on this fifth one we are going to make the petal from the here so now if you feel like we can make this petal a little bit more round here that's the fun drawing with the pencil Mm. yeah perfect even this one also I want to make it a little round perfect so this is our center petal for the lotus oh this is just like the you know my daughter gave me this diary here so I just took the paper from this diary. I just, you know, just took a paper from here. <laughs> this is just a magnetic diary if you're talking about that paper. <laughs> okay, after this, you see where like this is the fifth round. So from the third round, this is the third round crossing where this petal is crossing. So from this third round, we are going to draw this curvy line going to the fifth round i'm waiting for everybody thank you shruti for helping gauri thanks yelena for helping out So please draw these two curvy lines and when you join them from the fifth one, draw this inner curvy line like this, little half petal from the corner, from five to four. And from then four, we are going to join it from our this little corner base here. We are just going to draw this petal and join it from this four. So draw this petal shape here and join this four. It's okay. It's not looking very uh, in the 
moment right now but when we are going to use our pen we are going to draw it in the one line so then it will become in the one moment so now the same thing we are going to draw here and we are going to join it so that's how we are roughly getting our markings that where our petal is going to go Are you guys all done with these three petals, the center one and the two sides? Done. Awesome. After that, you see where this five, where we joined this tip and the next one, please find out the center just by an eye, just by an idea like make the dot in the center and then again from the number three circle we are going to draw this curvy line and number three circle we are going to join it from this this is the easiest way of drawing this beautiful lotus shaped start from the third circle and go all the way to the fifth and then again from here base we are going to draw the curvy line the s shape Draw from here. So please draw the line in the S shape, like we drew the we drew the other two. Then again, our the center dot find out at the fifth cent fifth circle. Sure, Anvita, do whenever you get time. Now again from the third, we are going to draw the curvy line. And again a tiny curvy line from fifth to fourth so that we can join them easily with the curve. Like this. Now we are going to draw the bottom part of the mandala, bottom part of the uh, uh, lotus flower. So for the bottom part, please count one, this is the one, two, three, four, like this is the fourth number here. Until the fourth number, we are, we are going to draw the petal which is joining to our this center circle bottom where we started the top one. And now we are going to do the same thing again from these both corner where I'm putting the point in the third number and in the bottom we are just reaching to the fourth circle not the fifth okay. So just be aware of it don't go all the way to the fifth just stop to the fourth one and again these two curves and join these curves to the base Okay, Neha, I'm waiting. So what I did in the base, what I did in this bottom part, I counted till 1, 2, 3, 4. So in the top, after this, we counted the fifth and here we counted just till the fourth. And then we first drew the center petal. And then these right petal, again, we just 
extend till the fourth circle not to the fifth circle the way we extended in the top part the bottom is just at the fourth number and then make the curve and join them no problem aditi take your time take your time no hurry okay please write down in the chat shall i start the next step Awesome Swedel. Now you see. Okay. In this next part again we have to find out the center just by an eye. So please make these two dots in these in this last section where we are going to draw our last petal and again join it with the curvy line and then join this all the way with the S curve line to the base. So that is our center lotus, the big lotus. The rough drawing of it. Now just take a look if you feel like one petal is looking way too big, one is looking small. So you can easily erase and fix. Although every petal got the edges, definite edges and the definite shape. But still, if you want to erase anything and fix anything, this is the time because after that we are going to uh, use our pen over it. Thank you, Manjula. Now I'm grabbing my pen. And... Now with the pen, I'm just, so now you see while drawing with the pencil, we break it into different parts, but now try to draw the whole line in the one moment so that you get a perfect uh, curve. Take your time. Draw each stroke slowly. So now we drew this line in the two parts like the half here, half here and then we joined it. So but when you are using the pen try to draw it in the one go. And now trace all the lines with the black marker pen. Keep rotating your paper so that you get a perfect angle and a good smooth line. Try not to cross the line whenever you are drawing around any petal. Just stop when the other petal joins it. Okay. And I'm kind of done drawing this. Beautiful shape here. Okay. 
I hope everybody is pen size is Sneha. I'm using Micron 08 and the tip size is 0.5 mm. So Alicia, use any, you know, uh, masking tape or any uh, that kind of tape, magic tape that if you take it off, the paper should not tear. So stick that tape in the center and then use the compass over it. So that tape will take all the you know that whole thingy and then pay, you, know, you can save your paper in that way okay now i'm just going to erase a little bit of these lines extra lines but i'm going to leave this center line in the in the big petal because we can use that but rest of the inner lines I'm just erasing it will become easier to work if we get rid of those lines right now and then we can start working inside not all of the line but some of the line just to make it a little clearer to you but I still have marking the one two three four five so now from this base, I'm going to go all the way to this number three dot where the number three dot is one, two, three. Here is the number three dot and I put a pen at the number three dot. And from the base here, I'm just going to draw one petal like this. And one more aura line of this petal inside and now in the top of it we are going to draw one petal which is kind of reaching to our number four layer number four circle and then we are going to draw these petals at each side take your time draw slow If you want, you can complete at the first side and then you can come back to the other side. But you can draw. And now one more on the top. That's it. Thank you, Stella. And now we are going to draw the outline of it. So now if you want to make it easier, if you don't really want to do these outlines, you can avoid them. And if you want to keep it intricate, you can draw them. And if you want to make them like a little more extra drawing or something, you can use a little thinner pen to draw, you know, little extra patterns of your own choice.
Okay, now we'll work in this inner petal. So in this inner one, you see our where this first circle, like the circle, the inner circle for the first centimeter one, where this outline is, we are just going to draw one petal coming from the center base. And a little tiny here in the middle. We are going to draw these beautiful petals. Our traditional style. Traditional style flower. That's it for our this big petal. So please write down in the chat if you guys are done with the center big petal. Now we'll start working in these side petals. I'm waiting for everybody. And please write down one if you are drawing along with me. And write down too if you are just enjoying watching the video. Done. And please write down one and two also. Thank you, Swedel. Thank you, Rabjot. Awesome. Adishri, Vijaya, Prapreet. Thank you, Claudia. Buenos dias. Thank you. Rising star. Aditi. One, one, one. Thank you, Archana. Awesome, Nishita. That's so nice that all of you are drawing one forever. That's awesome, Aditi. So, thank you, Bindu. And uh, Bindia, I think if I am remembering the right name, Bindia Mohite is the name, I think, who suggested me yesterday that uh, whatever Facebook post I make of the session, add the link of that Facebook post in the video description because a lot of people draw the pattern later maybe seven days ten days or maybe a month or whenever they watch the video so if they want to share their work and it would be easier if the link is in the video description and that's a nice feedback i really appreciate it so i will try to use that uh, trick and that's a useful trick i feel like because i always share the you know the facebook page post link to the whatsapp groups so but that's also a nice idea to add that link to the video description later after the session so i'll try to do that too and one thing is also coming to my mind to give the stamping also like when i'm draw starting the pencil line or when we are using the pen and when we are using the shading so let's see if i can give the chapter time stamping to the video too maybe that will also help awesome now we are going to work thank you everyone for your feedback so now please draw this side corner line of these petals so first please take a look we are just going to draw this style like this one little big or a line and we are going to draw this in all of the petals and in the bottom one first let me complete in these sides And now in the bottom one we are going to do on this top side. Mm. 
now let's work in this center bottom part so where you see the we counted one two three four so now at the third number of the circle we are going to draw a petal which is joining to the base like this and tiny little traditional petal on each side there are few patterns which you can never like you know uh, and never tired of drawing them like a lot of circles a lot of these kind of humps or the petals you can keep drawing them as much as we can and still every single time it gives the same excitement and now our tiny lead here and just a tiny decoration in this try to draw this double line okay so i'm just leaving it like that because we need little this extra empty space to give the little shading so that's fine now we are going to work in our these borders so we can use the same pen or if you want you can use little thinner pen where we are going to draw our these traditional petal shape if you want you can use little thinner tip pen to make it a little bit more intricate and to draw a little more extra humps it's absolutely your choice and we are going to draw these humps in all the petals And in the bottom one, please don't draw this. In the bottom one, we'll draw something different. First, let's complete the top. All three, three petals at the each side with the same design. So here is one uh, tiny announcement that next week there will be no session on either any day like either Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So as I'll be not available. So we are going to see you. We are going to meet like next af after that week, the last week of this month. But we are meeting tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to make this artwork in the Zentangle art. So we are going to meet to draw this abstract pattern. Now in these bottom one we are going to draw just the circles which are touching the top and the bottom line as well as touching each other. Take your time, draw slow and after that what I'm just doing in these ones 
I'm just making the double line inside. drawing the double lines inside in the circle we are not doing anything we'll just do the shading in the circle but in these petals we are just drawing these aura lines inside Okay, just a little bit few more drawing in this center lotus and then we'll start working on the outside. So, good morning Linda. It's a mandala or mandala plus zentangle. So Nishita, this is basically a, a lotus mandala but you know some of the patterns which are very common and which they got the name a different name in the zentangle world like if we talk about these little circles so if you see in the zentangle world they are like kind of the tipple if you have joined me in any zentangle session so basically they both are the pattern drawing and in the zentangle all the pattern got the name and all the they got the, all the step outs but you can feel the way you you feel like like whatever you want you can say that so awesome now we are going to draw in these top parts of these petals so please draw few aura lines which are joining to the base just two in each petal in tomorrow's zentangle session alicia um it is not the n it is just a wavy band actually if you want you can call it n or the s or i don't know or the z but this is just a wavy ribbon kind of band on the top So these are the aura lines in the top and we are going to give these little boundary lines in the bottom petal also. And just few more decoration in the center lotus flower. <laughs> it's okay, Alicia. That's fine because uh, the wave is kind of, you know, if you write the N in the small letter N in the cursive way, it might be like that. So the Nishita, the tomorrow session is exactly the same time what the today's session is at the same uh channel Nidhi Prakash Arts Friday sessions are one hour earlier and those are on those are in Hindi and those are on Nidhi Prakash Arts Hindi channel now you see where our these inside part is so just in the inside part we are going to draw the curvy line please look carefully 
you can draw one two or three whatever you feel like one two three and then just a few dots that's it one and two If you don't have much space, if you just want to draw one, that's absolutely fine. You can draw just the one. So I drew three, two, one. If you feel like you can copy the same or you can just make a little less. This is just little tiny decoration inside and in the in the bottom one what we are doing we are just drawing these you know little wavyish curve. And I want to give a huge shout out to Shruti also. Uh, she could not buy the, you know, the paper book. She could not buy this paper book, Mandala World, but she bought the Kindle book uh, because I think she is in India. So in India, the paper book is not available, but the Kindle book is available. And then through that, she drew this main mandala and and then she did the shading and little bit of the coloring in the border that's a beautiful version and she posted it on my website also as well as on the discord also so well done shruti and everybody whoever bought the book and sharing your work with me i'm really thankful to you uh, maybe i'm not uh, getting your name on my mind right now but a huge shout out to everyone whoever is sharing and i want to say thank you to you whoever is giving your feedback at the amazon also because that helps others to you know to purchase the book so on the amazon i see you are submitting your finished version picture that's really awesome so yes shruti nice now we are done with this center portion of this lotus. Now we'll start working. Oh, the next step is to give the outline of this whole lotus. Be very careful. Stay close like this. This is important because we want to keep this separate from the background which we are going to draw right now. So please draw this. Keep rotating your paper so that you get the perfect angle to draw the boundary. Everyone has it perfect, you know, angle when we draw or the right. So when I was in school, like I used to keep my book a little slanted kind of, you know, in the 45 degrees. And then I uh, write so it is straight. If I keep my book absolutely straight and then I have to move my hand in per particular angle to 
uh, write straight it was tough for me to write in the straight book everyone has their own style and it depends on how you hold your pen also I think Yay! I know Linda, you are harder for the left-handed. Thank you Rajan. Yes Alicia, I know we have to tilt it. And now it's the time to draw our you see this circle which number line is this let me just see mm -hmm. so this one is the fifth one so till the fourth number till the fourth number draw the line till the fourth circle whatever is left over after the boundary line and we are going to fill this all if you want you can use little thicker tip pen or the same tip pen it's absolutely your choice let me see I just have this thick tip pen and then that will help me fill it quicker Be careful. Draw till the fourth centimeter circle, okay? Okay, so this is hill number fourth circle and now we are going to work in the circle number fifth. So for the circle number fifth what I'm just doing I'm grabbing my pen and I'm putting it in the compass if you don't if you can't put your pen into the compass just draw on the boundary of the fifth circle freehand we can do it because we already have the pencil lines over it this is just to little quicker i already have the center point here so just drawing you can skip that part like you can just do it freehand if you feel like it seems like my circle is getting bigger i don't know why mm. it's perfect so just to draw this circle i just put the pen and wherever these lines are we are just going to make these lines a little thicker.
8 lines we are not going to see all the 8 lines because in the top they are kind of covering with the petal here petal here petal here petal here so we are just going to get these bottom three lines and then after that we are going to make in there half of it like in the center of it so you can just make it and uh, use your uh, like idea and draw it in the center it's absolutely fine if they are not in the absolute center of the box And one here also after that we are just going to draw lots of parallel lines hatching lines in between them and we are going to draw the two in the bottom also you can draw them randomly also like some near some further away then also it's fine Okay, now we are going to draw lots of hatching lines in between. So just keep drawing. The hatching lines like these straight filling lines. You can use little thinner tip pen also as I always say if you want to draw more lines than these. And if you want to make your mandala a little bit more intricate. Keep drawing the lines. And once we do the shading, we will get this beautiful roundish ring below the lotus flower and it will create a beautiful look. Hello mom, good evening. Hey Anjudi. So nice to see you here. I hope everybody is doing well now please write down in the chat when you are done with this whole ring I will also wait after completing this ring hi porcupine pancake heart conch okay
that's the fun that our imagination can you know join it thank you I'm just left with three more sections. How about you guys? How is it going? Please take my name. 37 Anushri Tilaskar. <laughs> so, Anushri, are you drawing with me? Awesome, Ruchika. Awesome, Rabjot. That's absolutely great that you guys are done. And even I'm also done. Look, I'm also not drawing very slow because I keep talking a lot so sometimes my speed like you know I get very slow awesome rising star awesome Prapreet rising star Richa okay Richa awesome Swedel Rabjot Yelena beautiful I'm waiting Aditi as you can see I kept my pen and I'm waiting for a few seconds looking at the chat and as you can see, now we are going to work in these outer two rows. We are done with this 5 cm. Now just left the 6 and the 7 cm. So how do you find it so far? Is it easy or tough? Krishyavochkiruchika. That's awesome. Well done, Krishyav. Easy, very easy nice that's what i want you guys to write down because i had this thing like maybe it uh, easy that drawing this whole um, lotus might be a little uh, tough or not that easy for you but i'm so happy to see this that you guys find it easy yes Porcupine Pancake Art. These sessions are weekly. Every Saturday we see each other for the mandala art. Every Sunday we meet for these kind of zentangle art. Those we do on a three and a half inch square paper. And every Friday we meet for these kind of last yesterday Friday we did this Zen Doodle art or the zentangle inspired art. Those are in the Hindi session and in that session I speak in Hindi in the whole session that that is on my Nidhi Prakash Arts Hindi channel. So we meet thrice a week, Friday, Saturday, Sundays. And if you want, you can unlock lots of intricate mandalas and lots of, uh, you know, uh, these kind of, uh, this is we did last week. So these are the little intricate mandalas which you can unlock at the by joining the oak level at the youtube or maybe through the patreon these kind of little intricate mandalas watercolor acrylic paint big pages and a lot of tools and with them there are a few mandalas like if you see on the my back this is the dot painting mandala so that is also there and some of these kind of Zentangle inspired arts videos and I'm going to unlock the video of this I already made it and 
all the oak members and all the patreon are going to get this video very soon let's start working in our these outer two sides so as you can see from here we are going to join to this point why i am little this point this point yes so you can see like maybe in the air if you are joining here so you can start joining like this petal and leave one and join all the way to this like this and we are going to do it in the crossover also okay so the easiest way would be a little how about let's join all the this baseline from this then it would be easier join all the baseline from their next point please do this way then it would be easier join the fifth centimeter circle to the seventh centimeter circle with this curvy line Sorry for that confusion in the beginning because I was just thinking what would be the easier way to do. This is the easier way instead of making the 1-1 one, one petal. First draw all towards the right hand side. Now we are going to draw all towards the left hand side. Like this. And this is the last one. Hey. After this, we are going to start working in these inner tiny triangular shape, curvilinear triangular. And in these ones, we are going to draw these two petal shape kind of, you know. this rounded curve and you will see when we'll do the shading it will give absolutely beautiful complete look to this whole pattern Thank you, Nishita. After that, we are just going to draw a big, beautiful circle in the center. And tiny circles, as many as you can fit. In the sides. As well as we are going to fill this. space around the circles so first draw the big circle which is touching to these curvy lines as well as to this baseline and then draw the circles at the each side take your time draw slowly don't hurry up then fill the leftover spaces and we are going to repeat this in all eight triangular sections
now i'm working on my second book and in my second book what i'm just planning is that doing is like you are going to get the two versions of the each mandala so one is the outline version and one is the full version of the drawing so what you can do if you want you can draw in the outline version and then you can color it and you can draw with your own black pen or maybe the colored pen and or maybe you can just leave the drawing and you can do some easy coloring or the shading in the outline version and little intricate coloring in the fully drawing version so that's what my planning is what do you think about it do you want to give me any suggestions or anything what i'm planning about my second book what i just shared with you guys do you find it good or not tell me your suggestions So on my iPad, I'm designing the two versions of each mandalas. Thank you, Prachi, for subscribing. And yes, that is reminding me, if you have not subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe. And whoever have subscribed and whoever is here with me, don't forget to click on the thumbs up button. If you have not clicked on the thumbs up button yet, please do it. What I'm seeing on my screen, it's just 18 thumbs up button. At Oh my God, we are more than 60 people here. Please everyone click on the thumbs up button. And maybe many more who is not here in the chat. Don't forget to click on the thumbs up button. And if you have not subscribed it yet, please subscribe. And, and click the like button. Yes, Prapreet. Click the like button. <laughs> Thank you, Alicia. Thank you, Linda. And one more thing. A few days ago, someone uh, on my Facebook page, Nidhi Prakash Art, someone recommended me and gave the feedback in the review section on my page. Even uh, I also forget always about it. So it would be great if you want to give your reviews or if your feedback at my Nidhi Prakash Arts Facebook page. On the top tab, you see the home button and near the home button, there is one button that called review or the feedback or I don't know what's the name of that tab, but you'll find it where you can give the recommendation and your feedback of my work or your feelings about my work and this page. So that would be awesome because in that way, uh, you know, they all will be at one place together and I can see them and smile looking th at them. And if you want to give any suggestions or anything, you can definitely write them there and I will try to use them to, you know, to be better and to fix if there is anything that will help me grow more. So please feel free to give your feedback there. Whenever you get time, you can do that. Awesome. Now we are going to draw lots of uh, first we are going to draw the double line here in this base where we drew this petal shape so please draw this double line here and on this double line we are going to draw our eight tiny lotuses If you want, you can draw these tiny lotuses first with the pencil and then with the pen. It's absolutely your choice. A 
after that we are just going to draw this crescent this pie kind of you know the half moon shape on the base over this half circle shape we are going to draw our beautiful tiny lotus So today my son is participating in his robotics competition. So Ajay took him to there. So he's not here with us. It's a whole day competition. He's a part of a pyrotech team. That's a FRC team. It's the robotics team. And they were working very hard. They made a whole big robot and all the programming in Python and all that stuff that was fun doing so as soon as I'm done with this I'll start watching their competition I'll put that on my streaming so now please look carefully what we are going to do we are going to draw we already have the center line where we are going to draw the center petal of the lotus flower and then at the each side this will go curvy petals we already have our base you can draw three thank you thank you for your best wishes everyone thank you santoshini and actually it is not me i'm just giving you the inspiration it is you who are doing it until you don't draw uh, you won't achieve so the main thing is in yourself in everybody you know you can just take inspiration from others, but ultimately you have to draw on your own. And you must be feeling good in drawing it. So that's why you are drawing, right? That's what I feel always. Thank you, Daria. Yes, it's it's cool porcupine pancake art and he enjoys doing all those Python uh, programming for the robots. It's a big whole team. So again, if you want, you can draw these flowers with the pencil, if you feel like. And again, feel free to draw as many petals as you want, more or less. Thank you, Arpita. And that's absolutely fine. Concentrate on the drawing. And if you feel like, you can definitely chat and write. I always watch to the time and Generally, when we do a lot of these kind of drawing, it takes a little extra time. So I'm sorry, guys, if you have work and if you want to leave at 11, you can leave and you can watch the video of this later because the recording of this video will be available at my YouTube channel. Recording of all my live sessions are already available. I started these live sessions last year in March when this Corona started and everyone is quarantined at home. So there was so much depression and so much like you know that was a very new thing that what to do at home so I just wanted to do something to help out whatever I could do that time and then I decided that I can help the society in this way that I can do some live sessions and 
the people who are stuck at home might spend some you know quality time and some creative time at home and at the same time with the meditative effect of these kind of artwork you can get some relaxation and since then i'm getting a lot of good feedback and people really want me to continue that and as you know i also enjoy doing art this is my passion so i'm just continuing with it with it since then so all the drive me drive with me sessions uh, draw with me sessions i'm sorry and lots of let's tangle together so you can get all these playlists at my facebook at my youtube now the last drawing is drawing lots of circles on the whole boundary now we are very near to the last step keep drawing these circles again don't leave the tail in the circle okay try to complete it all the way and join the line so that's why i always say please draw slow because if you draw slow you will get neat and clean beautiful pattern Thank you, Rising Star. So nice of you. But I'm just reminding you, next week there will be no session. Next Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm not available. Uh, so I can't, I'm not in the town, so I can't conduct these sessions. But we'll see after that. And you can see all upcoming streams at my YouTube channel, you know, you can go to the YouTube channel and the very first thing you see, the very first line is the upcoming streams. So you can see all the pictures, what we are going to draw, what the time and the date. There. I know, Linda, same happens with me that whenever I'm drawing uh, these things, they are so meditative and you don't think any of the, you know, daily routine or all the problems or all, it's just so much concentration or the focus all gone into it. And sometimes I, I say this a uh, lo lot of time, whenever I'm doing it just for myself, I'm just drawing it like right now I'm talking to you guys. So not that much focused into the mandala only, but when I'm just doing the only mandala, so sometimes it happens like the Ajay or my daughter or the son, if anybody is talking or calling me or anything, it just like go in the air. I don't hear whatever they are saying because I am so much engrossed and so much into drawing this. And after completing this, it feels like I did a beautiful meditation. It really helped me a lot. So if you want to share your these kind of experiences please do share at my facebook page in the review section so that all the you know you can see all the reviews together of everybody and share your experiences and whatever you want to give your any suggestions or feedback there i would love to see all of them compiled at one place Okay, Sweden, it's just one more step after this. Nothing is left and it is already Sweden, you know, like kind of we are 11 o'clock. So and we are left with the whole cleaning up as well as all the shading. So I think let's not wait more. You can take your time. 
no worries because we are just left with one more drawing that are the if you talk about in the zentangle term they are the flux and if you just talk in our basic traditional mandala style they are the petals these are the very basic traditional petal drawing in the mandala that's it so we are first drawing this center petal which is going out from the seven seven centimeter circle rest two are inside the seven centimeter circles and dots are also inside near these petals and if they are a little bit big or small it's absolutely fine these are just the edges or the terminal for the mandala so let them be wherever they are flowing and you uh, you will amaze to listen that that when i'm drawing the digital mandalas for my book i drew one the same we did in the uh, this peacock drawing i drew the same mandala in the digital one and it was fun drawing the peacock mandala in the digital way i might add it in the next book or maybe later anytime so but that was fun drawing I tried to copy all my these hand drawn mandalas in the digital mandalas. Woohoo, we are done with the drawing. And now it's the time for the shading. And before the shading, we are going to erase all these lines, guidelines which we drew in the beginning whichever is left over and visible please get rid of them use your eraser softly don't smudge the pen especially in these outlines where we just make these dots dots are very easy to smudge Okay, some of the lines maybe I can erase later if any any line is visible later. Here and inside also. Mm. awesome now let's start shading you can use any pencil whatever graphite pencil you have i'm just using this one it is having the 4b lead the 2mm size and i'm starting from here in the center in this very plain area which i leave intentionally here as well as this area here do the different designs stand for anything do they have meaning hope this makes sense so different designs have different meanings not really for the all the shapes if you're talking about the particular shape or the whole complete pattern porcupine so generally like they all are the abstract pattern but there are specific mandalas which resembles our you know chakras if you know the energy chakras in our body so 
they represent that and some mandalas are based on the you know the sacred geometry so they also have some special meanings in different religions or something like that or different part of the world but there is nothing like that any specific if you call them petal or like if you talk about the lotus flower so whenever we are doing any uh, buddha art so the lotus flower goes in that way so there is a lot of symbolism of the lotus flower there so if you talk about the symbolism of kind of thing so yes you will find a lot of uh, literature on google you can do that about different symbols or the different these kind of artwork but generally mandala is uh, like man, like that i asked this question maybe the last or the last to last session that what is the sanskrit meaning what is the hindi meaning or the like the sanskrit word mandala meaning is in the hindi so it is the circle in the circular pattern that's why we draw the mandala in the circular pattern always so because it represents kind of the life from that the life circle from birth to rebirth i think and when we use the mandala drawing for the therapy for the art therapy for some specific people who really need the therapy then when we use it as a tool so then we don't focus on any specific symbol then we use it in a very different way like we leave it loose and we ask some questions and then in the different part of mandala they take out their emotions and when you take out your emotions then some special symbols are attached with different emotions so sometimes you don't say your emotions but just by watching your symbols which you are using so the therapist can make out about the emotional state so there is lot more if you do the deep study you can find all that stuff now keep doing shading and here i'm just filling these inner petals you know we drew the tiny these leftover spaces generally we fill them with the pen but in this one we are just using our pencil for that Shading completes the pattern, but shading takes a lot of time, you know. I generally do it very quick because of the session, but you know, you should give a lot of time in the shading and do it slow. It is if it's going into the area where you really don't want to shade so that you get a good bright spot wherever it should be in the circles just a tiny crescent shape generally we do this kind of shading in the circles right if you remember and around these petals also to give this depth
So let me just lay down the graphite and then I'll do the blending together. As you can see, I'm holding the both things in my hand, the pen, the pencil and the blending stump. That's so funny. Take your time, go slow, okay? Don't hurry up. I say this time a lot of times that don't, don't hurry up, please take your time because you know I have this habit in my uh, skill based classes like sometimes like kids are kind of ma'am I'm done, ma'am I'm done and there are a lot more things that they could have done and um, before that they just want to do it like they have this tendency to say that I did it first so there is no competition, please take your time, do it best, that's important not to do it first and enjoy the process is the most important thing. So this is what is the center mandala is. Now we are working on the ring on the both side of this ring. We are laying down the graphite. And if this petal is coming over the ring, then please do a little bit of shading below that also. Thank you Prerna Devan for subscribing. Okay, now I'm blending all these graphite and you see this will make our ring so beautiful 3 dayish look. Make sure no height spaces in the corners. You can use blending stump, Q-tip, tortillon, tissue paper, cotton roll for the blending, whatever you find best. and if anywhere you feel like that it's going inside in any of these borders or any area where you don't really want it you can just use it use your eraser and you can skip that
okay now you where where you see like these two parallel line which we draw here so there you can just do flicking lightly i picked up the wrong pen here Just do it from the both side. Oops, I don't know, I powered the side. Once you are done drawing, don't forget to take a picture and share it, okay? And I'm going to give the link to the video description also. So if later anyone watch the video and draw, can share their work. So that's a nice feedback. Thank you, Alicia. So I would highly appreciate if you write your feedback at the Facebook page also. In the review tab. Okay, now we are grabbing the pencil and at the same place where we give the shading, we are just doing lightly with the pencil very lightly where we did this flicking go to just merge the flicking use your pencil very lightly And now we are going to do the shading in the in these tiny lotuses just the shading from the base very simple shading Now we'll just start blending in these lines as well as in these flowers as well as you know on these circles. So we are going to complete this whole area like that. So first do in these flicking lines at the both side then in the flower. And then use this dirty stump which is already carrying the graphite over these circles and these three petals simple and quicker right I keep on moving 
in the side sometimes i <laughs> i'm moving all the way to the top while drawing sometimes i'm all out from the camera Okay. <laughs> okay, Alicia, he kashui. Awesome. We are done with all the shadings. How is it looking? Maybe we can make these dots a little bit more bolder, you know, a little bit more visible. They are kind of hiding. Okay. You can use your dot art tool if you want to make them the perfect rounds, big size. Awesome. And now it's the time to do your sign and date or initials, whatever way you want. So I'm just writing my initials, Nidhi Prakash. And on the back, I'm going to write down the my full signature with today's date, 17th July, 2021. And if you want, you can write down all these hashtags on this with the youtube live nidhi prakash arts lotus mandala draw with me or your own tags whatever you feel like and i'm really happy to draw this along with you and i want to say thank you to all of you to for being part of my art journey and i'm also feeling very happy when i see your artwork sharing with me so now I'm going to take a picture of it and I'm going to share it at Facebook page where I'll wait for all of you to submit your work. Thank you everyone. See you tomorrow in the Zentangle Art session. This is the one. So you can draw absolutely the way like this is the traditional style, like the classical style. Or if you want, like this is one again, we made it. So you can make them in the colorful version also. So it's your choice how you want to draw it or maybe you can draw with me in the black and white version like the classical style and later on you can draw this in the colorful version that's your style. So you can make all them in the different colorful version it's your choice how you want to draw them. They can be black and white or in the colorful. Okay bye bye see you tomorrow the same time same place for the Zentangle art session.